Richie special, mommy. Look at Richie. Do you love me now, mom? Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna react to Vegana Paints. I thought everything has been said after my last video where I addressed him as You are the epitome of the soy boy cuck. But even after one year, Vegana is still grieving over our breakup. Let's see what she has to say. Hi everyone. Hi. And welcome to another episode of Carnist Nonsense. And today we're going to be discussing... Bob I'm always amazed to see that Richard shows us how pale you can get as a half black person. Bobby's perspective. For longtime viewers of this channel, I'm sure you're quite familiar with him. Bobby used to run a vegan channel, but then he became an ex-vegan. And as the story goes... He uh, ate a bunch of magic mushrooms. He, uh, oh, wait a second, uh, magic mushrooms? You never did that, did you? Okay, so just recently I had a really crazy trippy mushroom experience and it totally changed my whole outlook on life and just how I am and who I am as a person. And then he became convinced that he had to quit veganism. And then uh, later on, he did magic mushrooms again. And Bobby dared to do magic mushrooms again. He became convinced that uh, he needed to become a Christian. It's funny, it's almost as if you can only make these decisions while in a delusional state of mind. No, Richard, you're confusing something. A delusional state of mind equals veganism. And uh, just recently, Bobby uploaded a video titled Top 10 Reasons. Isn't it funny to see that every single Vegana Pains video starts with an ad hominem attack. You try to blame meat eaters doing that, in reality, you're just projecting. Let's do the same, shall we? Richard Burgess is a vegan YouTuber that likes to... And when I see babies in a stroller, especially when they're crying, I just want to put my foot through the fucking thing and step on it until it's nothing but blood and pulp on the fucking pavement! Richard Burgess is an untrained, overweight YouTuber that challenges grown men to MMA fights and when they accept, he backs out. I live in Canada, but I am pretty close to the border, so uh, I guess when you have your, old, your whole schedule sorted out, I guess uh, we can meet up sometime, maybe find a boxing or MMA gym, and find out who the real pussy is. So vegan gains Richard Burgess wants to take on the Batsman. Well, dickhead, as I've already said several times before, fucking bring it, dick sniffer. Uh, look, Isaac, uh, you know, I'm cool doing an MMA match with you. You good with that? What are you, like, uh, 150? I've got, like, a good 70 fucking pounds on you. And if you want to have a cage match, I'd love to beat your fucking face in. If you are serious about this vegan games, I can't believe that's how I'm referring to, then all I can say is... Let's go, bitch. That was over a year ago, mate. And still, you're... Just challenging me again? I fucking accept it! Twice! So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be at H2 Performance. I'm gonna be there at 4 p.m. on Monday. They have kindly said they'll set aside a couple of waiver forms, some gloves, and a nice little sparring area. So come on down. I'll even pay for your gas. How's that for an offer? So, I expect to see you. Regardless, 4 p.m. HD performance, label. Richard Burgess sells his wife's ball on the internet. Jasmine does full nudes on OnlyFans. I'm the one who's photographing everything. It's uh, butt focused. That's why we uh, called her OnlyFans Fresh Warm Buns. But you can see her pussy, butthole, it's all there, so uh... Richard Burgess even prostitutes himself. I'm going to get an OnlyFans, uh, OnlyFans account soon and start uploading. I'll uh, probably just, you know, upload videos and photos of my cock a lot, uh, jerking off, stuff like that. I might upload videos or do live streams. Um, jerking off to hentai, maybe. Fantastic. Now that we lowered the standard of this channel to your level, I believe we can proceed. And uh, just recently, Bobby uploaded a video titled Top 10 Reasons 
not to go vegan. That is the worst Bobby's perspective impersonation I've ever seen. Come on, Richie, do better than this. Now, listen, guys. Just like how in the Bible we have 10 commandments, we need 10 commandments as to why we should not go vegan. As Dr. Natasha Campbell said, humor is the first thing that vegans lose. Let me explain this to you, vegana. I made a response to a vegan channel that did a top 10, a sarcastic top 10 of why you shouldn't go vegan. Number one, vegetables are disgusting. Just try to feed a child a piece of broccoli and he will spit it out. Children would much rather have a big, thick sausage jabbed into their mouths. I've seen Richard obsessing about sausages quite a bit. It is quite ironic yet again because it is he who jerks off in front of his predominantly male audience. Uh, jerking off. Why Catholic priests are so popular with children. On that note, for anybody that is interested, I am Christian Orthodox, not Catholic. I do believe that the Catholic Church is evil, especially the Vatican. It's definitely not possible to get your hands on vegan pizza, burgers, chicken, <laughs> ice cream, donuts, or anything that isn't grass. Wow, as I can see, you speak sarcasm fluently. Look at this, this just proves my point. You guys don't like vegetables. You guys don't. Tell them, Bobby. You guys don't want to eat grass. You guys are not herbivores. This is why you try to replicate meat with plants. Well, Bobby, the well, Bobby. successful <laughs> populations in human history relied on plant foods as a staple of their diet. And oh, wow. Mind blown. <laughs> Veganism explained. Yeah, duh, Einstein. Obviously, people use starch as a bulk of their calories. However, will you mention that this was the downfall of human health? This is when dental problems started creeping in. This is when our health declined. I doubt that if human beings genuinely hated vegetables and we didn't get any kind of health or survival benefits from eating them, I doubt we'd keep cultivating them, selling them, eating them every day. Like all Even though this is a weak argument, I'm gonna entertain it for a second. Wouldn't the same thing apply for meat? All of these examples that you showed on screen of like, oh, th this is proof vegans hate vegetables. Notice how there's vegetables in literally every single one of these foods. A piece of lettuce, Richard. A slice of tomato. This is the argument that vegans love vegetables. Please, for your own health, but for the sake of us as well, eat a steak, Richard. Eat vegetables. Notice how there's vegetables in literally every <coughs> single one of these foods. So I I don't know what your aversion is. Uh, I don't know either, man. To plants, Bobby. Yeah. But since you're so obsessed with meat, maybe you'd like to check out my OnlyFans. You can see my big, thick, fat sausage on there. Mm, no, I pass. That is very gay, Richard. If you look at Richie's behavior, you will see that he's been obsessing about Frank Tufano, which is obviously a homosexual. I sucked a few cocks, you know. Richie spent countless of hours looking at pornographic homosexual material of Frankie Boy. After that, he thought it is a great idea to join him. Combine that with his lack of attraction towards real women. Even like really attractive women can gross me out depending on like the lighting, camera angles, if they just had a, a rough month and they're looking kind of weird. And if that is not enough, hey, just have a look at his wife. But yeah, that's all right, Richie. Everybody else is gay. <laughs> and that's not a joke, by the way. I, I do nudes on OnlyFans, so. We know it's not a joke. It's sad. There you go. All right, guys. There you go. I just took a look at Vegan Gaines' OnlyFans, and I have to say it is very unappealing. His penis is not like a sausage at all. It is much more like a big, thick cucumber. This is why... This is why you need a hug. Jokes aside, this is very sad, of course. The breakup of a family can traumatize children. And this happened to young Richie here. When I was a kid, my parents were super, super hard on me. I had really tough hockey parents. 
and I would only get love and affection, attention, you know, the sort of positive energy from them when I completed tasks, when I lived up to, you know, their expectations. Next thing you know, you go vegan, you get a vasectomy, and you jerk off to hentai in front of men. I do not like vegetables. Their big, thick, phallic shape makes me feel inadequate as a man. Again, nice projection, Richard. When did I claim that eating meat makes you very manly? If you want to be the big man, the big daddy. Looking at carnivore channels, at keto channels, omnivorous channels, I never heard that statement. It is always vegans projecting their own fears onto the meat eater. How about women that eat meat? Do they try to be manly? How about kids? How about grandmas? It is nothing but projection. You do not need to study psychology in order to see who feels inadequate. This is what veganism does to you. It turns your penis into a big, gigantic, Cucumber. Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Wegmans, okay. and Target are among the supermarkets that offer a range of plant-based options. Plant-based options. Does this look like a plant to you? Why do you crave something that looks bloody? Isn't that a good question? Why do you crave something that looks like meat? And why don't you ask those questions? How did you grow up as a kid? Did you never ask your parents what is going on around you? Probably what is didn't. Happening to this world. What is this? Can you please explain? Why do you eat this? Well, Bobby, I knew kids who ate their own boogers, so maybe we shouldn't base our dietary choices on what kids like to eat. <laughs> well, Bobby, <laughs> One Google search would have explained this to you. You know very well that kids crave salt. This is why kids eat boogers. Most kids nowadays grow up eating sugary gunk. Most kids nowadays are mineral deficient. This explains their behavior. So now, Richie, to explain this to you, so you will understand it as well. Am I saying we should mimic eating boogers? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. If you wouldn't be such a disingenuous liar, you would know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about foods in their raw natural state, such as raw meat, raw dairy, raw fish. Those foods are loved by children. However, the man-made plants are rejected. Now you ask yourself the question why that is. Jesus Christ. Number two, you'll miss the taste of meat. Duh. Unlike meat eaters, vegans cannot season their foods with herbs, spices, condiments, and sauces to add to flavor to the texture. Unless, by some miracle, you have access to the internet or recipe books without recipes. This is so retarded. The argument is not if you can add spices, which are plants anyways, but if you can eat the food in its raw state. Just what I said. And enjoy it. AKA steak tartare. Steak tartare is a meat dish made from raw ground <laughs> minced beef or horse meat. It is usually served with onions, capers, pepper, Worcestershire sauce, and other seasonings. Those are plants, Bobby. What point were you trying to make here? <laughs> First of all, thank you very much for proving my point, that you are a disingenuous liar. Why didn't you play the whole clip? AKA steak tartare, AKA sashimi, AKA carpaccio, AKA raw cheese, raw butter, absolutely delicious, doesn't need anything. So you don't want to mention the carpaccio, you don't want to mention the sashimi. However, apparently you're dyslexic as well. Usually. Can you read, Richie? It says usually served with onion, carpers, etc. But of course you're innocent. You simply didn't know that there are people out there that eat tartare with no spices. Fried chicken using... Mimic. Yes, mimic. You can mimic the taste. You cannot mimic the nutrition. Yeah, Bobby, according to the latest Oxford vegetarian cohort, <laughs> vegans and vegetarians are the longest living diet group. So All right, let's have a quick look at what Richie presents us with. Let's not waste too much time and skip right ahead to the results and the conclusion. Oh, but wait a second. There was no significant difference in overall mortality between the diet groups. 
So what's the conclusion? United Kingdom based vegetarians and comparable non-vegetarians have similar all-cause mortality. Differences found for specific causes of death merit further investigation. Wow, Richie, you really debunked us carnists this time. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't mimic the nutrition in meat. Uh, we can't make these vegan mock meats as unhealthy as the real thing, unfortunately. So canola pressed vegetable oil in combination with soy protein isolate is healthier than meat. Yes, I believe you. Number three you will become protein deficient. Yes, you will. If you are an athlete, it is also tricky to be a success in your field without eating meat for protein. All you're showing us is a couple of athletes that will drop out of veganism like the rest. It happens every day. Well, Bobby, I've been vegan for 10 years now. I don't have any plans on quitting anytime soon. <laughs> and I'd say I've gotten pretty big and strong as a vegan. I'm six foot three, 230 pounds. And yeah, I've got some good- Now I understand why you're talking about sausages so much. Much. Look at this blob. If you look at yourself from four years ago, you will see that the only thing you gained is fat. Gains going on here. <laughs> Gains going on. But uh, I'm sure with all the meat you're eating, all that additional protein and nutrients you consume, I'm sure you could kick my ass, right? Oh, that's his tough guy face. Look at it. That's <laughs> right. So why don't we set up a, a boxing or MMA match and you can prove how much bigger, stronger, faster you are than all these vegan athletes, including me. Mm. I actually remember I challenged you to a boxing match like a couple of years ago. And for some reason, you, you just went quiet. You wouldn't respond back to me. Wait a second, tough Richie. Are we talking about me or are we talking about you? We already know you're a master of projection. The uh, MMA match. I'm still interested in doing that. I tore my uh, quadriceps muscle. And uh, lately there's the coronavirus, so I can't even train. I can't travel. I'm looking forward to kicking your ass. I fucking accept it. Let's face it, man. You're an untrained mess sitting in your gaming chair. Who do you try to challenge? I'm going to make you a deal. Why don't you fight Lex Fitness first and then move on to Isaac Butterfield. Once you fought those two guys, I'm going to be waiting for you as the end boss. You even refuse to do online debates where there's absolutely no risk of physical injury. So it's funny how you're talking all this... Richie, come on now. The only guy that has to be afraid of physical injury is, of course, you due to your malnourishment. Look at you, man. You're grayer than your background. And yet again, we are projecting. Who didn't want to debate Bart K? Hmm? Again, I've issued the challenge. If he wants to debate me, he knows where to find me. Okay? I've made it really clear. It's funny how you're talking all this trash about vegan athletes. Oh, they're weak. They, they can't perform. I'm so much stronger and bigger and faster than them because I eat meat. But you... Uh, <laughs> I never said that. <laughs> I just run away from every single challenge a vegan ever gives you. Huh, weird. So maybe if you keep eating your steak tartare, I don't know, your balls will finally drop. He's craving meat so bad. You can see it in his eyes. He simply said, yet again, Richard needs a hug. Richard needs love. This is what broken homes do to our children. You're not, you know, this amazing, special little boy or girl that always needs love and attention no matter what. And you'll never disappoint me. And no matter what, I'll always love you no matter what you do. Of course you end up in a nihilistic, atheistic worldview and hate humans. And uh, when that happens, uh, just message me anytime, dude. Let's uh, set up a boxing <laughs> MMA match. Sure, dude. Let's do it, dude. Would be a pleasure as somebody that actually boxed and as somebody that is actually practicing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu to fight somebody that is sitting 24 hours in his chair jerking off to hentai. Wow, what a challenge. I'm trembling, Richie. But first, as I said, be a man of your word. Catch up with Lex Fitness and Isaac Butterfield. Those guys are waiting for you. They're very scared as well. It would be a fantastic training for you. You could actually get into shape. You could actually do something else than sitting in front of your camera and then hit me up, bro. I'm waiting. Let's settle things. Number four, <laughs> you'll miss cheese too much. It's not that you're addicted to cheese. It's just that you can't foresee a life without the gooey, stringy, melty, tasty yellow stuff that's made from cow's milk. 
Yes, it's delicious and nutritious. Cheese is neither delicious nor nutritious. No, it's not nutritious. It doesn't have supremely bioavailable protein. No, it doesn't have supremely bioavailable calcium. No, it doesn't have supremely bioavailable K2. No, of course not. Uh, I don't know why Bobby likes the taste of feet so much. The taste of feet so much. <laughs> Fat. But what's up with all that fiber that is fermenting in your own body and turning into butyrate, which is a short-chain fatty acid? How about that, Richie? But hey, it doesn't matter. As long as I say saturated fats, my 12-year-old viewers will believe me. Meanwhile, you can get some goats. Meanwhile, you can have some cows. You can live environmentally friendly and make your own cheese. But no, that is bigoted. No, that is evil. That is unethical. Go vegan, everyone. So it's pretty funny how Bobby is criticizing veganism for supporting consumerism, being very pro-capitalist and money hungry. Yeah, look at the description in uh, Bobby's video. He has links to his Teespring store where he's selling merch like t-shirts. Yeah, well, at least I'm not selling my wife's ass. He has all of these Amazon affiliate links and he even has a GoFundMe and Patreon where he's just asking for people mm. to give him money. Again, we have to explain to Richard that a GoFundMe campaign actually tries to achieve something. It is not just a degenerate money grab like wanking off in front of a camera. This is actually a community project where we want to show the devastating effects of plant agriculture. Something that you as a vegan willingly ignore. So much for, oh, yeah, just get a few chickens and pigs and cows and, and goats and just live off the land free without any money or capitalism. Why do you make such faces? And why do you think I was talking about myself? I was talking about family members that have no other means to sustain themselves than to harvest their own animals. What should those people do, Richie? Tell me, give me the vegan solution. Should they start planting soil? crops great idea and yeah bobby i would say that slavery and murder is wrong i know this might be hard for you to understand being a christian since the bible supports slavery and murder. yet again it is blatantly obvious it is so easy to look through him as an atheist he obviously despises god he hates god he hates christianity and everything that comes with it children, happy families, etc. He is a broken child that lives in a cold materialistic world where there is no God, there is no beauty, there is no love. He feels abandoned. He hates God. He hates his own father. He is obviously very frustrated and jealous of people that can see beauty and love in this world, that can see the thumbprint of God, if you will. His worldview obviously doesn't explain anything. There is no God, there is no universal truth, there are no universal morals, ethics, none of that. But at the same time, we have to be good people. Why, Richard? Why do we have to be good people? What is the origin of goodness? What is the standard of goodness? There is none in your worldview. In your worldview, everything is materialistic. Everything is soulless. Where does this intrinsic value of those animals come from? Why should we spare certain animals and kill others? What is your vegan ideology based on? It has no ground to stand on. Murder. But yeah, most like, you know, rational thinking human beings, we all think murder and slavery are wrong. <laughs> so you're a rational human being, are you? Why do you eat junk food? It's pretty good. Um, definitely has a meaty flavor to it. You're eating like a pregnant lady. That's pretty emotional, dude. Number five, you'll miss eggs too much. Eggs are a staple of many diets and a key part of many meals. Like yes, but ask yourself why it is a staple. Yet again, those vegans just eat for taste. Mmm, this is yummy. I want to have a replacement, please. Eggs are loaded. They don't get it, man. Are loaded with vitamins. You have vitamin A, vitamin D, K2 in those eggs. Let me guess, he's gonna play the cholesterol and saturated fat card. Beautifully put together. So eggs are disgusting. They taste like farts. Wrong. Yet again, you're talking about that salt smell that comes about when you 
cook eggs. If you would have had a closer look at the steak tartare, you would see a raw egg yolk. Raw eggs do not smell like farts. Sorry to disappoint you, Richie. And worse yet, they contain saturated <laughs> fat and cholesterol, which will raise your serum cholesterol score, and that is the principal sure. risk factor for heart disease. Again, pseudoscientist Richie will tell us how bad cholesterol is. Meanwhile, Ansel Keys has been debunked a million times. Nowadays, we know very well that it is not the dietary cholesterol that clogs our arteries, but the sugar that damages our arteries and leads to plaques. Eggs out of your diet, there are better sources of nutrients like vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin K. Vitamin A, vitamin D, and vitamin K. You know very well that you don't have vitamin K2, the MK4 version, in plants. You know very well that you don't have any vitamin D whatsoever. Don't tell me about the mushrooms. And of course, you don't have any vitamin A in plants. No, Richie, beta carotene doesn't count. You can get those nutrients from plant foods or through supplementation. Just through supplementation. So yeah, maybe it's a better idea to eat something like just egg, <laughs> you know, a vegan substitute. Sure, isolated bean proteins and canola oil, much healthier. That way you can get that delicious fart taste in your mouth without putting yourself at risk for heart disease. Oh man, he wants to eat animal food so bad. You can't easily buy food on the go. It has always been difficult for vegans to grab a sandwich on the go, and in the last few years, there has been no change to this. Mendocino Farms, the sandwich shop, or- Man, who even believes uh. that it's hard to have a vegan sandwich? Sandwiches are already plant-based. You have two huge chunks of bread filled with a couple of plants and a little bit of deli slices. Isn't that true? Obviously, it's not hard to have a vegan sandwich. Obviously, it's not hard to have a vegan sandwich. Bobby's Perspective, 2020. Yet again, humor is the first thing that vegans lose. Number seven, you'll become <sighs> B12 deficient. Following a vegan diet <sighs> is not the only time you will be at risk of a B12. Richie, tell me, do I have to list a study where we can see that vegans have lower levels of B12? Deficiency. A number of experts have said that most people, <laughs> plant-based or not, are vulnerable to becoming deficient in this Because diet. people are already on a plant-based diet. I know this is hard yep. to wrap your head around because you're watching animal snuff films every single day. You think that we're all eating oh so much bad meat. The reality of things is most people nowadays eat plant-based. Yes, unfortunately, more and more people... Richie, I don't roll the R. A little bit more effort, please. ...going plant-based because we have this modern idea of ethics where we reduce unnecessary violence. But Wait a second, so ethics is a modern idea. Where does it come from? What do we base it on? Do we simply base it on human rights? Why do we have human rights? Where does that originate from? And why do you even care? You're an atheist. There is no life after death. There is no judgment. You can do what you want to do. You hate humans, Richard. You hate babies. What stops you from going out and killing them all? An atheist tells Telling us about morals and ethics. It's ridiculous. But this is not the right way. We need to go back to the teachings of the Bible where we commit violence because of our bigoted belief system. Bold Bobby Bigot Man! Why could B12 from something like a supplement or a fortified food when you could stone a woman to death for showing her ankles and you could get the B12 from her mutilated corpse. Ha <laughs> ha! This is so funny. ...than it has ever been. Restaurants and fast food chains are just not open to the idea of offering uh. options. Except for White Castle, which offers the impossible slider, and Burger King, which offers the impossible... Uh. They're Great, let's support those companies. But as long as they don't have a vegan option, we will stand in front of their doors and demonstrate animal cruelty. However, once they bring in one plant-based patty, you will run inside. You can't wait to put that gunk into your mouth. Look at this, pathetic. There's also KFC, which launched its vegan imposter <laughs> burger across the UK in January 2020, uh. has trialed Beyond Fried Chicken in various US locations, and after a successful test run, the vegan Disgusting. chicken sandwich from Light Life Foods is now part of the permanent menu in Canada. So, not much choice, really. 
Yeah, look at that guy. He looks healthy. Yeah, Bobby, I'm pretty sure most people who eat fast food aren't particularly concerned for their health, so I don't- Like yourself. I don't know why you have this double standard where you think vegan fast food has to be super healthy and make you look like a supermodel, but normal fast food, oh yeah, that's just junk, whatever. Where exactly did I say that, Richie? It is you that wants to convince his audience that veganism is oh so healthy. You're showing the studies. We can all see that vegans live so much longer, don't they? So that clearly wasn't my argument. All I said is that vegans demonstrate in front of KFC and McDonald's, but when they have one plant-based option, they run to the store. And look, so far, all of your arguments against a plant-based diet it has been just health-related. Like, oh, meat is healthier. Well, you know fast food is just junk for you anyway. So if it's going to be bad for you either... No, yet again, you're not listening. I have to explain everything to you. I was talking about hypocritical vegan activists. Way, why not promote the vegan, more ethical option where fewer animals get killed? But How is it more ethical? Why do you lie to your audience? You know very well crop deaths though. Unfortunately, it is very true. One cow can produce hundreds of kilograms of meat. If you want plant-based burgers, you will have to spray pesticides, insecticides. You will have to kill millions if not billions of insects, rodents, birds, deer, wild hog and many many other animals that are not so fluffy like your beloved cows. Mwah. But here you are saying, no, no, choose the option where more animals get brutally murdered. Again, it's just a lie. Less animals die. Of brilliant, you know, ethical reasoning that you'd get from a Christian who believes in a nonsense book that will tell you, oh yeah, gay sex is an absolute abomination and it's evil, but a man having hundreds of wives and sex slaves? Oh, well, that's just fine. Yes, let's listen to the atheist explain the Old Testament. If you know anything about the Bible, you would understand that the Old Testament is the foundation, the historical foundation for the New Testament, for the coming of Christ. The Old Testament delivers ancient stories unfiltered about those people that lived back in the day. But why do I even bother? Why do I try to explain Christianity, morals, ethics? Why do I even discuss this with somebody that is selling his own wife on the internet? Going vegan can really break the bank, especially <sighs> with all that extra lettuce you have to buy. Putting all jokes aside, because in case you didn't <laughs> notice, this has all been one big windup. It's not easy oh, for really? everyone to switch wow. instantly to buying plant-based foods over their normal shop. However, beans, grains, and vegetables can be some of the cheapest items to- Can be some of the cheapest items. However, we know that no vegan ever follows a whole food plant-based diet. Nobody is eating only legumes and grains. And even this video advertised against it. You said that you're not eating only grass, nuts, and seeds. You're eating what exactly? meat replacements. Those replacements cost 10 times as much. Of course, veganism is more expensive. Bye. So a vegan diet can be as cheap or as expensive as you'd like. If you want to save money, then eat cheap foods like beans, rice, potatoes. If you want to spend more money, then eat out more, eat at restaurants, uh, choose more expensive food choices like Beyond Meat. It's up to you and Bobby's just totally wrong here. Uh, eating plant-based doesn't mean that, in general, your food expenses increase. Uh, and there's actual research on this. So uh, here's a study titled Adopting a Plant-Based Diet Minimally Increases Food Yes, cost. I need the study. Yes, I need the authority to tell me what is cheaper and what is more expensive. I do not know. I need science to understand. I can't simply go to the supermarket and compare the Beyond Meat to the regular mints. I can't see that the Beyond Meat is twice as expensive. Obey the settled science. Uh, here's a study titled Adopting a Plant-Based Diet Minimally Increases Food Cost in the Well Study. So the study was looking at whether or not... Uh, dude, you're so boring, man. ...to help out breast cancer survivors, and they actually looked at whether or not the dietary intervention would increase food costs. And what they found was that the women in the study who switched to the plant-based diet, their uh, food spending increased by $1.22 per person per... Uh, Richie, are you not enough of a case study for yourself? You're bleeding out of your asshole. You're constantly depressed. It's been a while since I've had depression that's been 
this debilitating. Um, like, I, I just have a hard time fucking moving, getting out of bed, thinking, uh, just getting work done, and, you know, uh, I, I guess it's time for a new sort of strategy of dealing with this. Um, I feel like it's masking an underlying problem, and I think the problem is my gut health. Um, I'm getting much more of a sense that my depression, and I think most people's depression, is directly linked with their gut health, so... You are gaining weight. You are out of shape. You have injury after injury. Your life is pure suffering. Uh, as a lot of you already know, I've had a uh, surgery on this knee. Out of freaking nowhere, I dislocated this kneecap. And you still need a random study on the internet to tell you why you are supposed to feel good? That is like literally nothing. So claiming that, oh my God, if you eat vegan, oh, you're gonna have to spend a ton of money. <laughs> Yeah, about a dollar and 25 cents a week. Sure, not taking into account the hospital bills. What if you develop IBS? What if you develop SIBO? What if you develop depression? What if your teeth start rotting? All of those symptoms we've seen with oh so many vegans. But no, eat beans, bro. You'll be fine. Whoa, yeah. And uh, there was another study on Canada's <laughs> Food Guide. So Canada's Food Guide was recently updated to be more plant-based. And this recent study found that wow. uh, moving to the more oh, so sad. Uh, recommendations with the 2019 food guide would save a four-person family about 6.8% on their annual grocery. That is awesome, you guys. There you have it. Look at my three little texts that I cherry-picked and put on my screen. Who cares about real-world applicability? It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna sit here in my chair, jerk off all day. I have a vasectomy. Nobody can get pregnant. I'm gonna fade out of existence, but I'm feeling great. Hey, as long as Google says so, man, all good. Bill. So, uh, generally speaking, doesn't really seem to change your grocery bill uh, going plant-based, so... All right, and this is it. Man, this was boring, depressing, and sad. Thanks, Richie. You're ruining my day. But in all honesty, looking at this man, I cannot take this personal. It is a man who is truly suffering, who is broken inside, who is lonely, who is longing for love, who is empty, who is trying to find refuge in an empty ideology by saving the animals. He believes he creates something meaningful in this life that makes him very special. Richie special, mommy. Look at Richie. Do you love me now, mom? It is absolutely pathetic. It is absolutely saddening to see this is what broken homes do. This channel is not only anti-vegan. It is anti-soy boy cuckery. It is anti-degeneracy. It is anti-propaganda. It is anti-broken homes. It is anti-evil. Richard, if you ever see me in real life, come closer. Don't be shy. I will be waiting for you with open arms, waiting for you, giving you a hug like daddy never did and call you son. All right, guys, but this is it for today. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.